Hi beautiful people, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and safe. I'm um, sorry I have to hold my phone because my husband was messing around with my the device that you put your phone on your window and he broke it. So he has to get me a new one. Um, he broke it today. He was just being a butt and messing with it and that he unscrewed it now we cannot put it back together so yeah but anyways i hope you guys are okay i hope you guys are happy healthy and safe today is august 17th 2021 and it is 7 31 in the afternoon i just left from the grocery store as you could tell um and i wanted to do an update for um, how things are going so far and how my appointment was yesterday because I had a, um, an OB appointment um, yesterday. So as of today, today's Tuesday. I keep on thinking today's Wednesday. I don't know why, um, but today's Tuesday and I am 16 weeks and two days. Today, yesterday, I had my OB appointment 16 weeks and one day. Um, this appointment was just a quick, literally, it was not even 15 minutes. Um, we, of course, from, I don't know if every clinic is the same, every hospital is the same. When it comes to OB appointments, how their procedure is, like, collecting urine sample and stuff. But for us, um, you give a urine sample every time you go to your OB appointment. So... If you go to OB appointment once a month, just know when you go, you need to give a urine sample at my OB. Um, I don't. I think it might be the same um, throughout the area or throughout just OB clinics, but I'm not quite sure. So I usually make sure I drink plenty of water because I know I'm gonna have to give some urine. Um, but there's no when you're pregnant, <laughs> you can pee at any time. So. Um, I was able to give urine uh, first. That's the first thing I did. I was like, okay, I held it because I knew for a fact I would have to give the urine sample. Um, and we talked about um, some testing that she wants me to do at this stage when I'm 16 weeks to check for, because um, I, I am anemic, um, but it's not bad at all. Um, it's, I have slightly anemic. Um, but she wanted to know if the anemia got worse or not. So she's like, I wanna check for that. And as well as check for spinal bifida um, uh, through blood. So she's like, so I'm already getting you poked once, might as well just collect all the stuff that we need. And she asked me if I was okay with it first. And of course I am. So the blood work came back um, I don't think the spinal bifida blood work came back yet, but I believe I've already been checked for spinal bifida. Um, but so far, uh, my anemia is fine. I'm not, it has not gotten worse um, since like a few years ago. So she said everything looks fine. Um, and she's, she's not worried about anything as of right now. So I'm really happy about that. And as well, we did, um, she said, I thought I was going to get measured like to, for her to measure my uterus today, well not today, yesterday, but she said they will do that when I am 20 weeks long. I'm gonna have to put you guys right here because there's usually a lot of police officers around here. Um, so, um, she said the next visit when I am 20 weeks, she will have she will measure my uterus and as well as we order me um, an ultrasound to do when I'm 20 weeks pregnant. That is four weeks from now. Um, she told me when I come back for my another, I th they're gonna do fetal uh, Doppler again to check the heart rate. She said um, my baby will be towards my belly button at that time. So by the time I go for my four week follow up, I am sure my my. You know I'm going to start looking a little bit more pregnant um, because that's my halfway mark uh, 20 weeks five months that's my halfway mark of, uh, 
of my pregnancy and I that's literally not even full four weeks from now that's like three weeks three weeks and a little bit more than a half so it's very exciting at the same time very nerve-wracking because that means my time is going by so fast like when I first found out I was pregnant time was going by so slow but now since I'm you know staying busy and all that kind of stuff I'm not really counting um, my weeks of pregnancy you are gonna get pulled over because he was going at least 20 miles over the speed limit oh I guess not they're talking to each other so. <laughs> but anyways um yeah I am really excited I'm really blessed everything has been working out so well so one question she had asked me she said um, your symptoms they're much better now than they were first trimester I'm, I'm like actually I have more symptoms now than I did my first trimester first trimester I got nauseous here and there second trimester I had more nausea than anything else I have um, I, there, the food cravings are not as strong but when I want them it's not like I have to have it but it just sounds like so good at the time and then when it's time to eat it or if I did eat it it's not what I want any longer um, for example we went to this um, one Mexican spot that we really really love we went there and I really wanted fajita so um, not fajita we got uh, what did we get I got something I can't remember what I got but on my way there I'm just like thinking about it I'm like oh yeah that's exactly what I want I think it's I wanted the kids version but I end up getting the adult version of it and I think there was just like way too much stuff in it so I really couldn't eat it as much one thing I have noticed I think I mentioned this before is I really can't not tolerate not I'm not gonna tolerate but I prefer not to have like a bunch of different foods in one bowl right now as being pregnant before pregnancy that did not bother me or beginning of my pregnancy that did not bother beginning of my pregnancy I ate a lot I I really thought that I was going to gain a lot of weight I only gained one pound so far so we shall see what happens by week four I mean um uh, in four weeks how much weight I have gained but so far I have gained one pound and like four ounces or something like that I'm just gonna round it up to one pound 1.5 pounds um, so that's not really gaining much at all we can gain oh, a pound and lose a pound within a couple of days that's not much of weight um, is because I don't have an appetite much of an appetite um, and most of the food that we have or if I'm making it for my husband I don't just make him one thing for me I can just eat that one just one thing like one ingredient and I'll be fine like if it's just rice like maybe two of like rice and chicken and that's fine but if I put rice chicken and vegetables in the same plate or bowl I can't eat it because it's just way too much stuff I guess like too many ingredients I, don't, I can't explain it um, like for example if you go if I go to Chipotle I won't be able to eat the food because it has so many things in that bowl like I would have to tell them just put only two things in there and then just that and they're still going to charge you so much so um, we had went to a Mediterranean spot and um you know i put in what i wanted what i thought i was going to eat but i literally took three bites and that was it like i couldn't eat it any longer i started getting really nauseous because all the food was in like I, I can't explain it so with that i have not been having an appetite um, i don't have much of an appetite at home besides home i can eat like when i go to work i'll be able to eat breakfast I'm able to eat my lunch so that's where I'm eating the most is outside, outside the home like I can take my food from home and eat it at work but I don't know what it is about being at home 
that I don't have an appetite. I think it's because I know there's food at home and I know that if I get hungry a little bit later on, I can just go ahead in the refrigerator or the cabinets, whatever, and grab some food. But if I'm at work, I know that I need to eat this. Plus I need it for my energy for work. So I'll eat it. Um, I might not eat the whole thing, but I'll, I'll eat most of it. Um, so I think that reason, that's the reason why I have not been gaining weight. And I think that's probably another reason why I have been feeling more tired than anything else. Um, I get a little bit of moody. I think that's well, probably pregnancy hormones and not getting enough nutrients in my body. So I had asked her about um, taking like a nutrition supplement, like Ensure or like a, a protein drink. Um, she said that is fine as long as I can just stick with one a day. So I think um, I'm gonna have my husband buy me some probably next, like either this week or next week. Uh, I'm gonna buy some and start drinking that. Probably drink like half for lunch or half for breakfast and then the rest for like when I get home or drink it like before I go to bed because sometimes I do wake up in the middle of the night and I am starving, very, very, very hungry. Um, so yeah, I think that's all the symptoms I'm having so far. I'm definitely feeling her move. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but yes, she is definitely moving and she's moving quite a bit. And is not this feeling that I expected. Um, when it first happened, it felt like like a tap. That's what it felt like. I just felt like a couple of like tap and then a little bit later tap. I'm like, what is that? Because lately, before that, I used to feel something and then I get like really gassy. So I'm like, it's just gas. But that time I felt those two taps and, and I was not gassy. So I'm like, um, I'm just like my body just doing whatever it wants to do. And then it happened again. Um, I This time I literally felt something moving and I was like, what is that? And I wasn't gassy, did not have to use the bathroom or anything like that. And I was just sitting, I wasn't like, when I cross my legs now, it kind of bothers me. So I wasn't crossing my legs or anything. I was warm, I was feeling great, you know, just sitting watching TV. I wasn't laughing or anything like that. Just a normal sit down watching TV with my husband. And I felt it, I'm like, ooh, what is that? So I'm like, I told my husband, I said, I think she moved. He's like, how you know? I said, I think I felt it, but I'm not sure if that is what I'm feeling because like I said, I've never been pregnant before so I can't tell you what it feels like. And then on Sunday, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday, I was going to my brother's house to meet up with my brother and my dad. And while I was on the highway, that's when she was going insane. Like, I can literally feel her moving, moving. I was like, wow. I wish I wasn't like on the highway driving right now. I can just like really experience this feeling. And I, it was just, it was great. It was really, really great. Um, other thing, I have, my urine is have, has increased by a lot. I'm going to the bathroom a lot more. And if I hold it too long when I go pee, the pressure is, is, is there. The pressure is very, very there. Um, oh, kitty cat died. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I can't really move as much as I want to when I'm sleeping. I've noticed the past few days, like since like Friday, she I, she has grown so much since Friday. When I move a certain way, it hurts. So I have to be very careful when I'm moving, when I'm in bed um, or whatever I'm doing, I have to be careful. Uh, my back, oh, we are not even gonna talk about how much my back hurts. My back is hurting quite a bit, um, very tender. Um, my feet are swelling a lot more. <sighs> so I, I feel like, pregnancy has 
it feels like pregnancy has really started like with the symptoms and stuff as of now instead of what was prior um but other than that i really don't have much to complain about because it could be a lot worse it could be like very painful pregnancy it could be to the point where i couldn't work or anything like that and i'm grateful that i am able to still work um have a loving husband like i got some groceries today but i'm not taking in um i mean i had to put the water in my car um but i'm not going to take it in the house because it's a little bit too far to walk from my car to the house with a case of water and case of drinks that's just going to be too much but i'm going to take the rest in slowly um yeah that's about it i guess I, know, I am feeling really great i'm just tired i think the tiredness is not going to go away forever <laughs> i think this is something i wouldn't have to definitely um live with another thing is before i let you guys go i did end up going to pick up my prescriptions today um i was i had ran out of magnesium and i have noticed that my migraines were coming back and one thing that's been helping me with while i'm pregnant is magnesium for my migraines so i'm going to go back on it tomorrow i'm not going to take it on the daily basis i think i'm going to take it like every three days take one magnesium um, and I am back on vitamin D and I'm not going to be taking vitamin D every day as well Because you know what vitamin D does. I'm already having problems with constipation. I don't need to add excessive amount of constipation On top of with, with adding vitamin D um, oh, That's what I forgot. I should have got some Activia yogurt While I was out because Activia really helps me through when I'm pregnant for constipation um, but I do have some stall softener, softeners. I just don't want to take excessive amount of, of medicine. Like today I had to take Tylenol, two Tylenols earlier this morning. When I did my hair yesterday, I should have stretched my arms prior to, I, I do this every time. Before I braid my hair or whatever, I tell myself, stretch your arms, stretch your neck, stretch your back before you start, like before you start working out and then do your hair and then stretch again afterwards so that you won't have so much muscle ache and joint pain afterwards i didn't do that so i had a lot of muscle ache and joint pain yesterday when i went to bed my arms started to hurt because i went to bed like almost 12 30 in the morning and i do love my hair it looks great but um this morning my arms were so sore i couldn't even like really do my job right i had to take some tylenol so i took like a, a thousand milligrams you can take up to two thousand milligrams which is safe i think two or three thousand milligrams which is safe while you're pregnant um it helped so much and also heat has been helping ac makes it worse it makes my joints hurt even more so um with with, with today i would say and then i had to take another i just took like a 320 no i took a 500 milligram right before i left to work because my arms were hurting so bad the tylenol had wore off so right now that's what i am at um it's been about four hours since i had any tylenol so i'm not going to take any more because once we make dinner and eat um i'm going to bed once i go to bed i'm not going to feel it i think i might go ahead and take magnesium tonight because i know magnesium will also help with muscle aches um, and like I said, I've been having a lot of headaches lately. This has been since I did get my new glasses on Saturday. My headaches has definitely reduced by a lot. So, but I think I'm just going to start tonight and then just take it only at nighttime, every um, like three to four days. Since I know my prenatals has magnesium in it as well, and as also as vitamin D, I don't want to overload my body with it. Um, I think I was on magnesium most of my first trimester and I was on vitamin D most of my first trimester. I am taking on a regular basis my prenatal vitamins. I am taking omeprazole for heartburns. I am taking uh, folic acid and claritin. That's what I'm taking. Well, I try to remember to take it on the 
at least out of seven days four out of seven days i take them <laughs> i over the weekend unless i see it i forget it but i keep some at work so i don't forget to take it at work oh <sighs> all right but anyways i am done i'm a little bit hungry i'm tired i don't want to put this food away i wish my husband was here but he went to help friends move so i'm just going to take my time and put this in but anyways thank you for watching thank you for all the new subscribers i do appreciate it thank you for any of the comments that you guys are leaving i really really do appreciate it um make sure you guys hit this bell button like button the bell button the subscribe button as well if you guys did enjoy this um video if you have any questions regarding anything i talked about today or anything about pregnancy so far that i have experienced um uh, please leave it in the description bar below um and yeah but anyways thank you love you all bye